Yo, what's up everybody? In today's video, we're going to be doing a quick look on graphic settings for chapter two remix. So I'm really excited about this video. I'm glad to be actually getting kind of deeper dive into the graphic settings. I have done settings video on my keybinds before, but this is the first time we're actually going to look into graphics. Just to let you guys know, if you do want to support me, head over to the shop and use code spades. Helps me out a ton. That's the best thing you can do to help me out. But yeah, let's get right into the video. All right, guys. So before we get into our actual Fortnite graphic settings, we're going to look at NVIDIA control panel settings. So to get to that, just go down here. NVIDIA control panel should be the first thing that pops up. You're just going to open that up. So there's a couple of different ways you can go about actually changing your settings on here. So to actually change your settings, to get the ability to change your settings, you're going to want to go up here to adjust image settings with preview. Go down here and make sure this is set to use advanced 3D image settings. So you're going to hit take me there. It's going to take you to manage 3D settings, and that's where you're going to actually be able to adjust stuff. So to actually do that, you can just hit the button. It'll give you options, this little drop down menu. Not really going to go in depth on each one of these just because there's so many different settings. The couple that I would focus on, though, are if you scroll down just a little bit down here where it says texture filtering, there's two that you want to focus on. So texture filtering, trilinear optimization and then threaded optimization. Those are the two that you want to look at. I would recommend that you try these on first. And if you notice that there is any delay, you can change it to off. Really, this is these two are built in to help your latency. So to help your delay, stuff like that. But sometimes you'll notice FPS drops and that is not what you want. So if you do notice FPS drops with these two on, turn them both off. And those are the main two that I would just check on. I would scroll through here and just make sure that you understand everything you're looking at. But I'll just scroll through here kind of slowly. You can just look at them if you want to pause the video and change it to this. And then from there, if you do change anything, I can just change this one just to show you. If you do change anything, just go down here, hit apply, and then everything will go back to normal. Then you can just close the app out once you've done that, once it loads everything up. Just close it out, and then we're going to jump into some other settings. All right, so the next thing that we're going to look at is actually in our Epic Games Launcher. So if you just open that up, you'll go over here to Library, and then we will look at our Fortnite. So Fortnite is down here. Just ignore the hours I've played. Oh my gosh. Hit the three little dots down here at the bottom right, and then you're going to hit Options. And then that is going to pull this screen up here. So this screen is going to kind of go in depth of what Fortnite is actually taking up storage wise. So when you automatically download Fortnite on a PC, it's going to have all of this stuff downloaded, whether you use Save the World, high resolution, all this stuff, whether you use it or not. What I would recommend for the best settings and for the least amount of actual storage space it's taking up is you delete these three. Personally, I use performance mode and we're going to jump into that stuff in just a sec here. But you aren't going to need any of this stuff. If you play Save the World, obviously keep that downloaded, but high resolution textures and DirectX 12 shaders, we're going to show you how to turn those off and the way to optimize it without those downloaded. So if you decide to delete any of these, just unclick them just like that, and then just hit apply and you're good. Um, otherwise, we'll jump into the actual Fortnite settings from here. All right, so when it comes to the actual settings, what we're going to be looking at is kind of like FPS, um, stuff like that. So again, here's the builds. It doesn't really look any different when you're just building ramps but you know when it's actually editing you can see it you can see a difference between this and DirectX 11 so my settings I'm going to show you guys those real quick and then we'll look at DirectX 11 we're not going to look at DirectX 12 just because like I said earlier it's kind of unnecessary there's not really a reason you should be using it at all so I'll show you guys both of those um, and that's going to be all for the video so it's going to be pretty quick let me know if you guys have any questions about it though and yeah we'll get right into that so for performance mode what we are looking at right now is down here where it says rendering mode. This is the main thing you're going to be looking at. So we'll look at like frame rate, resync, all that stuff in just a sec. But actual rendering mode is the main thing I want to talk about now. So as you can see on here, literally in the description, performance mode is what offers a significant performance gain. So it literally Fortnite is telling you to use that. There's not re there's not a reason at all that you should be using anything different. DirectX 11 is the older graphics, but because it's older, it's not going to use as much memory meaning you're going to get better FPS. So really the only two you should even think about are DirectX 11 or performance 12. As you can see, it's literally it's it's going to tell you the difference, but there's not really a reason to use DirectX 12. It's going to give you worse FPS and you don't want that. So you're going to put it on performance mode. Coming down here, my actual like graphic settings. If you want to, if you care about brightness, color by mode, stuff like that, I don't really care. I think this season looks best on zero with it off, in my opinion. So for the actual settings, by the way, you do have to normally be in lobby to change this stuff, but view distance, textures, and meshes should all be on low. Low meshes, the difference that that's going to make is between the builds. Builds with low meshes are going to have like the bubble look to them. So like the older builds, what people refer to as 
like bubble builds. That's what those are with the low meshes. High meshes, that's where it's going to look more like DirectX 11. So if you want that, you can have it. I think that low meshes looks a lot better. But big thing is that low meshes is going to give you a better performance. So that's what you want. Texture is low. Like I said, you don't really need it have textures high there's not really a reason high textures is just going to make stuff look super shiny and fancy it doesn't there's not a reason to you don't need to see the ex individual leaves on a tree anything like that view distance i have that on near pros also use it on near there's not a reason to have it on epic unless you for some reason need to see build battles going on across the entire map this you just keep off there's not a reason to have it on i've never even messed with that before 3d resolution what this does is it is the percentage of the pixels that pop up on your screen so for example my screen is 2560 by 1440p. So some people use 1920 by 1080. It really just depends. Should always be 16 by 9 unless you use stretch res. But what 3D res does is it gives you percentage of whatever that resolution is. So if you have 3D res on 50%, your resolution is actually just going to be 50% of whatever that is. So you'll see the individual pixels popping up. Normally, whenever you set performance mode, it's automatically going to set a percentage. Make sure you turn 3D resolution all the way up. Otherwise, you're going to see the individual pixels. And again, you don't want that. Coming back up here, though, looking at this stuff to have the best performance, you're going to want to put this on full screen. Only reason that I don't have this on full screen is because I have a custom crosshair. If you guys want to watch a video, more details on that, I'll leave the link below. But full screen is going to give you the best performance just because it locks this window. So you aren't able to like exit out of it. You can see how my mouse is going out of the screen. You're not able to exit out that easily. Windowed full screen is a lockdown version where you can just go outside, like back and forth. In regular windowed, you're actually going to be able to see your apps down here. So if you just hit escape, like, you know, going from game and hit escape, you're going to be able to see all your apps down there. And it's going to lower your FPS a ton. So windowed is about the worst decision you can make. VSync, you just keep that off. The only reason you put VSync on is actually in your NVIDIA control panel settings, like we just went through a minute ago. So there's no reason to turn VSync on in here. Frame rate limit, I recommend having this one step above whatever your monitor's refresh rate is. So in this case, me having 165 hertz refresh rate monitor, I'm going to put this at 180 FPS just because it's going to give you a little bit of wiggle room. If you have a monitor with 160, you're going to put it at 165. You know, like I said, just put it one step above whatever your monitor's refresh rate is. Only thing I would say, if you have a 360 FPS monitor, don't put it on unlimited. Just cap it out at 360. There's not really a reason to go on unlimited. It's just going to kind of hurt your graphics. So next, we're just going to look at DirectX 11, like I said. So if you just scroll down here, go to DirectX 11, hit apply. It will ask you to restart your game switching between performance and 11. So just hit restart now and we'll go straight into that. All right, guys. So now we are on DirectX 11. As you can see, there's already like some differences. You can see like in the textures, stuff like that. It's a little bit better looking, but you can also see right when I start building, there's drops in my FPS, which is not what we want. So you can kind of see the difference in like builds, stuff like that. If that is something you care about, which honestly shouldn't be a whole lot. Really big thing we're talking about today is performance. But you can kind of tell a difference in that. Big thing though is the difference in my FPS. So normally I'm capped out at 180 FPS. But right now, especially, you know, even just being in a 1v1 map, you can see like delays and glitches every once in a while. And you don't want that. If it's happening in creative, definitely going to happen even worse in game. That's not what you want. So settings for DirectX 11, if you for some reason do need to use this, which you shouldn't, but if you do need to use this, whenever you switch from performance mode over to DirectX 11, most of the time it is automatically going to be set on some certain settings. So this is the same stuff. You don't really need to worry about that. But graphic quality, don't do auto set. That is the worst thing you can do. So if you do that, it's automatically going to do what your NVIDIA or AMD graphics card suggests. And it's normally going to be very high settings, which is going to lower your FPS. So I normally set low quality pre presets from there. You can kind of just scroll down, make sure everything is on low. So shadows off. Shadows are just going to make your FPS worse. Global illumination, same thing. Um, really all of this stuff, you don't need it. There's no reason to have reflection on mirrors in Fortnite. You don't need that. View distance, this is the same exact stuff that we were talking about for performance mode. The one thing that I will let you guys know about is if you guys are planning to use performance mode, make sure you go on DirectX 11 and set your quality presets to low. Because big reason for that is because when you're on DirectX 11, you are able to change your shadows. You're able to turn your reflections and shadows off versus on performance mode. You can't do any of that. So it's automatically going to stay on if your computer suggests that. Or if you go in DirectX 11, you can automatically turn all this off. Then when you switch back to performance mode, it's going to automatically keep those settings. So when you switch back, it should still keep the same settings for low quality presets, all that stuff. You shouldn't really have to adjust anything else. But I would say go in there, just make sure everything is still correct. Like I said, there's not really a reason you should be using DirectX 11 at all. 
But if you do have to, those are the settings that I suggest. All right, guys, that's going to do it for the video today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Helps me out a ton. And hope you guys have a great rest of your day and enjoy the season.